Let's move to our next discussion now. Activities leading up to the 2023 general election are in top swing, and candidates and political parties have begun strategizing for, for optimal performance at the polls. Many presidential hopefuls have emerged, and many more will declare their intentions in the coming days and weeks as we get along. But what qualities are Nigerians looking to see in all of these candidates and whoever the next president of the country is going to be? That is the question on the lips of Nigerians, and that's what we're talking about. So joining me for this discussion is Abraham Great, uh, who's one of our analysts in the studio. Abraham, good morning. Good morning. And good to, to see you. Nice to see you again. Great, nice to see you too. Yeah. Great. Now, the, the point there is, as, we, as everyone gets busy with names of people and people you know all of the politics around it and then the pedigrees and everybody trying to sell themselves and tell people okay i have this i have that and people are still declaring intention but at least you have been in this uh, game of politics and all of that what are the qualities that nigerians are looking out for as to who the next president will be when it comes to capacity when it comes to pedigree when it comes to vision and stuff and all of that you know, the first thing we have to realize with this thing is that we have thus, you know, elected or selected our leaders mm. by empathy mm. for them. So you will see things like we're selecting a leader because he doesn't have a shoe. We're selecting a leader because he's been to prison. We're selecting a leader because, you know, he has to be rewarded, you know, you know mm. uh, because he's done this, he's done that. And some of the time is because of those who fought for the independence that we now enjoy from what things used to be are still at the ends of things. And it seems a button is being passed on. So we need to reverse the equation and almost treat our country the way Singapore went. Mm. If you recall when Singapore was going to get independent, Singapore was using Nigeria as a case study mm. of a country it will be. But the reverse is the case, you know, 60 years later, we're looking up to uh, Singapore, uh, uh, you know, as a model of excellence. What had happened? because of the choices of leadership that we have made. So Nigeria have had n near misses. And we have to look at it. what are the things that we missed. For example, the miss that we had in Awolowo, hmm. the miss that we have in uh, MK or Abiola, who I would have thought would be a very good pedigree. Those two people would have been a very good pedigree of us actually beginning what we, what we want. So now, in our choice of a leader, we have to reverse it by making it for empathy for the people first. Hmm. So above so, all So things, the people should be the focal point this time around. Yes. Okay. So because we've had leaders who have almost ruled in this country almost like dictators. So we have leaders that are intolerant. I mean, uh, no matter how you take it, if you say something maybe on air, on social media, what have it's been, not just because of Twitter, not just because of Facebook days, even from the 60s that you could get killed, you could get taken up. We've got to move from there where the ruling elite have to come within themselves and say, look, we've got to let loose the bird called Nigeria. Mm. We've got to let the Nigerians really have the Nigeria that they want. We can no longer take Nigeria as a cake mm. that we share. Because right now, this is the best. If they've made any error in their life, this is the best time. Because the next 15, 20 years time, most of these people will no longer be around. They will be somewhere in Aljama or in heaven that we <laughs> call it. And they've got to be able to look down and say, you know what? We got it wrong from the beginning, but we passed it on mm. the right way. So what are we looking for? What are Nigerians looking for? The first thing Nigerians are actually looking for is a, a, a leader with empathy. Hmm. A leader that will receive them and treat them as human beings. An average Nigeria doesn't seem, or do, so doesn't seem to feel that the leaders throw, I mean, have empathy on hmm. their situation. And the thing is that because I've also related with people up there, the higher you go in this country, the more you disconnect from the street. You don't know. Because in your heart, you want to do good, but the real truth is you are disconnected from reality. I'll give you a good example. You see, the prices of fuel may go up, and prices of things may go up. I happen to live in many countries, and I'm just asking myself, why is the price of electricity in Lagos at par, or even greater than the price of electricity in the UK or in Canada? where i have houses it doesn't seem to make sense in a country where the minimum wage is 73 dollars per month 
How do you expect the people? There's no empathy for the people. The other thing is that there is really nothing. In this country, there is nothing that you get for free. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing. If the government creates a path into something, somebody in government is looking out to milk the people of it. This nation has no socialism of any sort. It's overcapitalized. So the leader that we will have is one who has empathy. The one who actually have, like that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Lee in uh, in Singapore, who came in, and the people, the people, the people, the people was his concern. Mm -hmm. The next thing is, we have bo in both parties, men who are still living, you know, who actually have vision. We need a visionary leader. We need people who can turn this country into an industry. We need people who will bring in, who will allow the, uh, 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 the environment, the community to be able to breathe businesses, industry, infrastructure, foreign investment coming into, co in, into the country like President Obasanjo did. Mm -hmm. You know, if you lived in the diaspora like I did during the time of President Obasanjo, it was such that almost everybody around you is moving back to Nigeria. They're getting a job because multinationals are coming into the country. You know, right now the reverse is the case because it's very difficult. The amount of diesel alone, you know, the insecurity in the country alone. We will say, why has Twitter gone to Ghana? Why is this company, con uh, this company not dealing with us? Mm. It's not because they know that we've got the gene of greatness. They know that it's a great nation. Oh, yeah. But would you rather stay in Nigeria? Mm. In a place where you're going to be foiling and you're going to diesel. Not because we cannot have permanent electricity again, but because we have leaders who run businesses and they will not let go. Because they have not had enough of their wealth. So we need leaders not only with vision, we also need inspirational leaders. Mm -hmm. Leaders who will be able to, from the inside of them, have innovation and think ahead. Not just conformists, not just people that are going to li listen to what the, the rest of the world is, is saying. You All know. right. Abraham, because, because of time, let me. The point there is you said one thing very um, apt there. You, you said we need to go away from seeing Nigeria as a cake. Mm. That, that cake that everybody is waiting ah they're baking it and then we're waiting to eat it mm. we need to move away from there because the point there is it's work not not eating but the issue there is how do we get every section of nigeria because when we're talking about the president because he leads in fact the way the president leads almost all state governments follow everything follows the vision of whoever the president is the way the makeup but how do we get every section of nigeria to reason in the same way, in the same direction for that kind of person? First, it's very difficult to mm. get. You can't get um, everybody thinking the same mm. way. You know, nature creates polarity. Even the master of the universe himself created polarity. Mm. So as I'm here, if I'm saying I want this candidate, in fact, people will call you out. They'll say you're a thief, you're a potential looter because mm. you, you know, no matter what you, you, you opt for, people will be against you. Mm. But the least, at least, that we can do is to paint a general vision of where we are going. Mm. Then we need to have a criteria for who qualifies for mm. that place that we're going. Mm. And among our criteria is that it seems in the Constitution so far, our bar for who leads this country is too low. Mm. So educationally, we've got to be sure that we are astute leaders who will, uh, you know, who will run this country. Next to that is capacity. You see... It's good that youth will rule the country, but if you haven't got the experience, if you haven't been in governance, if you haven't failed before, what man business have you managed? What have you done before? What trials have you faced mm. before? Have you been tolerant? Or what names have people called you before that you've been able to withstand? What mistake have you made as a leader there yesterday and you recovered from? Those are the pillars of leadership that will make you not just because we want fresh blood if we mm. have a fresh blood who have a good heart but lacks capacity we're going to be back to square right. one yeah. we saw what is happening in, in france mm. we have the leader of france fantastic guy great guy actually got his inspiration from nigeria exactly. to be a president mm -hmm. but he's in his 30s you know i live in europe since he's been there there are all kinds of protests and this because he does not have the capacity so the other thing is that when we set this criteria right, one of it is that we've got to have the ability in the leader to build a great team. Mm -hmm. A leader's 50% of a leader's job is choosing the right choices. Mm. 
when you have the right, and we have in this country still the more, people who have, have the more antecedents than mm -hmm. of choosing the right leaders, yeah. you know, what a right team, a right cabinet, and this team of people who have a view that you don't see. All right. They, 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 they have a lot of work to do, but they are doable from what you're saying. So mm. uh, we will have time to talk more of, on, on this because uh, we don't have the time right now, but we will create time to t because Nigerians have to be conscious of this as we get deeper into the political uh, terrain. Thank you so much, Abraham. Great for coming. I'm really grateful. It's always a Thank pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank Great. you.